Hi everybody! Today we are going to make a fresh egg pasta together. Since I come from a region that is very well known for all the uh, pasta courses and especially for homemade pasta, I wanted to share this experience with you. Uh, for making pasta, you just need uh, two ingredients, uh, that is uh, flour and fresh eggs. And it's also very simple to remember how to make it because the golden rule is that you use 100 grams of uh, flour and one egg. Since I'm using a gluten-free flour, actually the ratio is a little bit different because gluten-free flours normally require more water, more liquids in general. So I will be using five eggs for 400 grams of flour. I have prepared this uh, well with my flour and now I break the eggs inside the well. Now I have to start breaking the eggs this way and then I have to start mixing them gradually. I add a pinch of salt like this and I can soon start to mix the egg with the flour, no longer with the fork but using my hands like this. At this point, we have to incorporate all the dry parts in the mixture. At this point, we have to incorporate all the dry parts in the mixture. I have been kneading for about 10 minutes now. But look um, at the mixture. It's uh, nice and smooth. So now we need to let it rest in a bag, possibly a plastic bag that you can reuse many times for the purpose. And uh, once the dough rests, we will prepare the filling for our raviolis. I have decided to prepare another version of raviolis. In this region, we have got three types. Uh, the ones that have got ricotta cheese inside, the ones that have got potatoes, and the ones that have got pumpkin. So I've decided to prepare the pumpkin ones because pumpkin is uh, still in season. And so I got half a pumpkin, the green ones on the outside, and I have put pieces of pumpkin with the skin on in the oven at 180 degrees for about half an hour um, in general until the flesh inside is nice and soft. Then I have mashed the uh, pumpkin, the cooked pumpkin, and now I have about 400 grams of uh, pumpkin puree to which I am going to add grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. It should be about uh, 100 grams. I know that two and a half handfuls is about that amount. And I will also add a little bit of mustarda. Mostarda is um, normally fruit in a sweet syrup with mustard inside. It's very typical here in Italy. You may add actually a tablespoon of uh, your favorite jam. For example, plum jam is a good uh, substitute uh, for mostarda in the filling. And last but not least, I'm going to add amaretti, which are almond biscuits. I will just crumble them and then you see like this and then I will add salt, a little bit of pepper and nutmeg. One egg, as I mentioned, salt and nutmeg. I have tasted the filling and I like it very much so I just uh, put it here on the side and uh, start uh, uh, rolling out the dough. So what shall we do? We will have to take uh, small pieces of uh, pasta like this because all the rest has got to remain 
inside the bag, otherwise it becomes dry. In order to roll it out, I normally use a little bit of rice flour. And here we have two options. Well, actually here in Italy, we normally have, if we are used to making uh, uh, fresh pasta, we normally have uh, a pasta sheet. Uh, but if you don't, you just use your rolling pin to roll the dough out so that it is nice and thin so much thinner than this one because now I'm going to use the sheet and uh, you have to make these sheets of pasta so very thin so that you can roll your raviolis so the first step is that of rolling the dough going through a large um, let's say the large part of the rollers and then we move the gear go to the last but one and at this point we can roll the dough again and it will be nice and thin and remember that to know if uh, the dough is thin enough you have to see through it now that we have our strips of uh, pasta we have got to put the filling on it, distancing these little heaps of filling in such a way that in between we can put our fingers, you will see how. We now have to fold the dough in such a way that the two edges come together like this. We let the air out, pressing the dough slightly on the side. And then when the air is out, we just hug the filling and seal our raviolis. Let's see it again here. We fold, let the air out like this, and then we hug the filling like this. Then we cut our raviolis on one end in the front and on the sides like this the water has come to the boil i added some coarse salt and now i throw my raviolis the raviolis have got to boil on fairly lively let's say and now we just uh, drain them this way and put them on a tea towel to remove uh, the water. In the meantime, I've melted butter with two leaves of uh, sage and this uh, will be what uh, I need uh, as a dressing. I will sprinkle the bottom of the dish with grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, I am placing my raviolis on the dish like this. And I will now complete my portion. This is a nice portion here. And I complete by sprinkling with grated parmigiano cheese this is important because if you put the cheese first then you can use a little bit less butter because it will stay on the raviolis it will not run away so we now dress this way I try not to put too much butter, even though there is a saying in Italian here in Parma that to make good raviolis, you have got to drown them in butter and then rescue them with uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Okay, our pumpkin raviolis are ready. I hope you enjoy them. We love them. So, bon appetit. Ciao.